Hey, what's going on? This is L.I.E. and this is N.Y.K. Culture. How you doing today? Uh, you know, so we, the draft is over and now we're going through the, uh, the next stage, uh, training camp. So, uh, everybody's, I don't know. I don't really know how everybody feel. I wish everybody hit me up, let me know what's going on, how you feel. But, um, you know, we got a new pick, uh, Obi Toppin from Dayton, uh, six, nine power forward. Uh, he's a scoring forward. He was born in Brooklyn, New York. So, um. You know, uh, it was good to see some emotion from him. He, you know, he really cried, and you know, he was really proud to be in New York. And uh, from what I've been seeing, I was watching the news the other day. He was actually giving out turkeys, so you know, he's already, uh, you know, showing his status in the community, giving back already, and uh, being a part of that New York culture, which we're trying to build right now. So, um, yeah. So basically. Um, he averaged 20 points per game and seven rebounds in college his last season. So, uh, you know, it, it's real good to have another scorer because sometimes even with the Knicks, they couldn't score really. It would be, a, a you know, huge drops for like eight minutes or more. And you all all know what I'm talking about. You probably saw that in plenty of games. But, um, yeah, that was really, you know, frustrating to see sometimes. Uh, you know, they played a little defense, but... They couldn't get the ball in the hole. So uh, now the good thing about this kid, you know, he's he's he made some statement. And, and I like what he's saying, you know, on a positive tip. He's like, uh, I want to have a brotherhood. And he, he wants to, uh, you know, be close even with the management. Uh, so uh, even the ownership, front office, you know, things like that. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Obi. He's showing some maturity. He is mature. He's 22 years old. Uh, still a young man to me. I don't want to give my age away, but, uh, you know, that's that's pretty good. You know, people are making references because he's a little older than RJ and the guys. But, you know, he came out early. But sometimes the mature players are, are pretty good and more a little polished, uh, you know, so that's that. So uh, he was the SEC player of the year. Uh like I said, six nine power forward, and um, he also can uh, stretch the floor. You know that's what you know the game has came to come to now. Basically, you have a stretch uh, fours that can shoot the three, and um, you know he runs the court. Um, you know his only weaknesses they're saying is that his lateral movement on defense. So I mean, everybody can't be perfect on defense. It's a team concept. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, he'll develop how to, uh, you know, move laterally and be a tough defender. But, you know, I like what I see. Like I said, player of the year, SEC, uh, you know, it's not, it, it's good stock, you know, even though they said it was a weak draft, but it's good stock. So, um, yeah, his good part, he's a tremendous athlete. And they, they're also comparing him to, to Amari, you know, stat, standing tall and talented. We remember that guy that went on like a, a 30 game streak. He was screaming MVP, MVP uh, stat. So, uh, yeah, they compared it to him. Uh, a young stat is is a good, you know, that guy was uh, always an all star in Phoenix. So, uh, so uh, and also he could shoot the three, like I said. You know, that's always a good thing now in the NBA. You got to be versatile. Uh, you know, it's no more like conventional post up game. It's like stretch fours and fives now. Uh, you know, it drive me crazy when I saw Lopez now. He he evolved. He's shooting three pointers over there. So, uh, so that's the good things about him. And also, the cat is a bas he he's a basket uh monster. He had like a hundred and it's not like he had a hundred and seven dunks in last season. All right, so uh, you know. He's definitely, his his percentage will be up. But, yeah, we need that. We need easy baskets um, in defense. That's what I see in the Knicks. I mean, we could play point guard by committee, but, uh, hey, we have a new point guard, too, also. Uh, his name is, that's my guy, Emmanuel Quickly from Kentucky. You know, another Kentucky connection. We already got Knox, and, uh, you know, Kentucky is... Uh, pretty much a staple in New York now. So, um, 
Let's talk about this guy, Manuel Quickly. Uh, you know, he's the SEC player of the year. And uh, he's a 6'3 guard, point guard, uh, 190. So, um, you know, that, that, that nice build, nice, good, good 6'3 point guard is nice to have. Um, but, you know, he, he's more of a, uh, a combo guard. He basically, he's a, a shooter, more of a shooter, which is good, though. He's a catch and shoot. And that's what I always said when I watched the Knicks last year. They don't have enough shooters. You know, you go to a gunfight and you got a six shooter. No, you need an AK in this league now. And that's basically what it is. Uh, you got to have shooters, especially in the backcourt. You know, that's why Barrett, you know, he needs to improve that also. Get a shooting up. And, um, you know, he's very athletic. I like that. So we still got those guys. Yeah. So Emmanuel Quickly, Kentucky. Um, what is he going to do? He came off the bench. That shows me this guy's heart, though. He came off the bench and became a starter. Uh, deep range. Like I say, he could catch and shoot. Uh, but only problem with him is uh, basically it's the um, assists. He's averaging 1.9. Uh, so he doesn't look like the John Stockton type. All right. So uh, also um, 1.6 turnovers. So, you know, we can see, you know, if we can develop him. He's going to be with Thibodeau. Thibodeau is a veteran. Uh, we got Mike Woodson back in development. So um, as assistant. And, um, you know, this is going to be good. Uh, we're going to see what they can do. December is right around the corner. So uh, the season is starting early this year. So we'll see what they do in training camp. And uh, we'll get a look at the rookies and see what goes on in Knicks land. Now, um, you know, with the COVID everything, I don't know. Try to make some reservations. I want to uh, give a shout out to Clyde Frazier's, Clyde Wine and Dine, always. Uh, you know, beautiful establishment. And maybe one day will be my sponsor, uh, Clyde's Wine and Dine. Uh, uh, check check the schedule. Give them a call. Go online. Uh, see if you're dining or maybe uh, you could take out. But beautiful. I love the black and uh, salmon myself. So, all right. Uh, this is NYK Culture. This is LIE. Uh, I'm not going to keep you. Enjoy your Saturday. It is Saturday now. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the season. And if, you know, I want to know what everybody thinks, uh, hit me up at NYK Culture on Twitter. You can hit me up at NYK Culture on Twitter. All right. It's L-I-E. Peace.